So we're going into Agatha. Agatha Christie is the queen in this one that you might have heard me talk about before. Bit of a mystery, we never seem to find it, but we know she's here. Um, so Anna is brilliantly going through our hive, just having a look. So we're just in the super at the minute, which is the bit where the bees go to put the nectar in to make the honey. Um, so at this time of year, they'll be bringing lots in and they'll start to build up from the brood, which is at the bottom, the brood chamber where the queen is. Um, which has been beautifully painted with four seasons. You can see that we've got winter, and then on the back, we've got lovely bit like summer and a bit of spring. So, yeah, not a lot going on in there at the moment by the looks of it. Have you seen any honey yet? I know, no, none yet. No, no, so, not but we these are the frames that she built out last year, so they've all been cleaned out, and um, all the honey's gone from them. Very so few. the bees clean them out. Very little at the moment. Yeah. So there might be quite a lot of activity going on down below. I think, so. I think we need another frame in there, don't we? Oh, I've put one down here. Oh, you've got one down yeah. there. Brilliant. There we go. So not a lot going on there. So we just take that off and pop it on top of the, the hive roof. And then we're going to go into the brood chamber and hopefully spot the queen, but not necessarily because she's quite wily, this one. <laughs> And when you hear that noise, that's the propolis um, that the bees use. As you can see, it's like bee glue. So there you go, that's a bit of propolis. This is the queen excluder, which goes over the top of the brood chamber. And that stops the queen coming up um, and laying in the super, we hope. Sometimes they do squeeze through though. But so far, we know she's not in that super because there's no brood or larvae or eggs. So here we go, here's some of the bees. Um, we're gonna give them a little spray of water. Before I use smoke, I try to use the water just to give them a little mist. Obviously, they don't like rain and things, so they'll go down, but I prefer to use that than the smoke. Quite a sticky um, colony, this one, so the lugs are quite difficult sometimes to, to get hold of, particularly when you're wearing big gloves. So on this one, wow, look at all that honey. And we can smell it as well, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, well done, those beautiful little bees in there. Okay, so these are the end frames. I mean, just looking now to make sure, do you want to put that one by the side? Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that they've got enough room in there for the queen to lay. And they've got enough stores. I mean, the weather's fantastic at the moment, so they're bringing back a lot of pollen. I don't know whether we'll get to see it down here, but um, you can see the bees going in and out really fast. Oh, look at that, more honey as well. So the bees will be putting the nectar in there and flapping their wings to make sure the water content, but look at all that. So there's some food for them. So we'll just gradually make our way through these. And there's never any rush with beekeeping, which is a joy. I think this is probably gonna keep us sane through the COVID time is coming and having this moment with the bees, bless them. So now if I go in close, you can see the pollen that they've been packing in there. That's the brood food. And then on this side again, just lots and lots of bees. You can see one with pollen on its feet. Can you see the little yellow dots? And they'll be packing that in. Um, I'm hoping Eagle Eye Anna, who's with me today, one of our brilliant volunteers, will spot a queen because we never find Agatha. But you never know. Today could be the lighter. day. This is much lighter. Okay. So again, loads and loads of brood on that frame. Loads of bees. Oh yeah, lots of laying going on there. So, yeah, but I'm not seeing the queen on there. The next frame's looking really busy. So we'll just come and probably do this sort of like every seven to 10 days. And obviously we're very mindful of swarming a little bit later on in the next sort of month or so. But who knows, because the weather's changing so much, but again, lots of biscuit brood. That's what we're obviously looking for um, all of this. There'll be baby bees in there. Sometimes you see them hatching. We saw a couple pop out last week, which was so beautiful. And again, not seeing her. What kind of Oh, there's, there's eggs. You can see the eggs. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, down at the bottom. Don't know. Oh, yeah. Can you see that little white dot there? That's an egg. So she's definitely around. We know the queen's in there. We will not see her. I think she, was she red? I'm just having a moment if I can't remember. You can see Anna's getting a hive tool in there and they tend to stick up these things so it's quite hard. Bee glue is quite amazing.
Anna's doing such a lovely job. She's so gentle with them. We quite often talk to them as well. Mmm. <laughs> she's definitely getting more eggs. We can see eggs and things, but... No, I'm not seeing her, are you, Anna? No, not yet. So we've seen, we've got to see Victoria. Uh -huh. Agatha is still remaining quite a mystery to us. Hence the name. It's a lovely she day was a for... mystery last year. She was. It's a lovely day for beekeeping. It's, there's very little uh -huh. wind, which is good. Um, obviously, a lot of the bees are out foraging because the temperature's above 12 degrees, which is great. Lots of pollen on the legs of these bees in here. And there's the drone comb at the bottom. Obviously the drones need to be going out and mating with the Virgin Queens at some point soon. Uh -huh. be with his bum in the air. Let me go see that. <laughs> and again, I don't think yeah, see. lots of everything in there. Great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. And we'll try this last frame that looks quite active, but it's great to see so many bees in there. Obviously they're building up the colony. So from the winter time, it's like from 2000, um, and then we go up to about 50 or 60 in the summer at the peak time. So she's got a lot of work to do, our queen. But also brilliantly, she's laying like a thousand to 2000 a day, which is, I find that quite hard to get my head around sometimes. So the final heavy. frame that she may be on. No, we definitely missed our queen. She's hidden from us again. There's a lovely bee just sticking its head. I don't know if you can see that. It's on this side as well. It's, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it was a bum in the air. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, we've got even more brood on there as well. So she's really doing well. Well done, Agatha. And then we can see from here that there's just tons of honey on that one, so we'll leave it. Leave it, okay. And we'll close up the Sorry, hive. Agatha. So basically, we'll pull all those frames back and stick the other one back in. Um, and we'll put another super on, which is down here on the floor. So she's got a couple to build up into, but she's looking really good. So thanks, Agatha, and thanks, Anna.